he um he he didn't like the way it felt to be on them and you know it was so that he's so hard that's such a hard one to take because everyone loved that guy and yeah. to think that everyone i mean he has no haters yeah. i don't know a single person was like that guy was a dick no 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 no, 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 no one everyone loved him it hit everybody really hard yeah from close friends to people who just knew him a little bit like i knew him just a little bit I he was so well. sweet but he was so so tortured he was just yeah. in pain all the time and yeah it's just it's so strange that you think the thing that people like most is for other people to love them and to care about them. And everybody loved Brody. Yeah. But yet he couldn't, it just couldn't go, go on. But I never, I've never known Brody to have a relationship. I've yeah. never known him to have a special someone in his life. And mm. I mean, that, that alone had yeah. probably be very, very depressing. Yeah, he, well, especially if, if everyone loves you, but you don't feel connected to any of them. Right. Like how empty that right. feels. And that's yeah the core of depression. That's fame. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's also yeah. the core of depression. I have yes. as having had depression. Mm. Yeah, one of the things that hits you is that feeling that you just can't connect. And does, was yours coming about when your first marriage was breaking up? I mean, I have lifelong depression, but I didn't get it treated until that point when I was like, you know, it was like, uh, yeah, because the marriage was breaking up, and I had to fly to like Africa twice in a month to yeah. see my kids. And Do you remember the time that I uh, protected a reporter from you? Oh, at the TCAs. <laughs> yeah, he was on malaria medication and drinking, which apparently enough <laughs> malaria. <to do. laughs> yeah. So super sweet, kind Dave was was going to kick someone's ass, and I literally had to like <laughs> yeah. hold on to him. I kind of want to see that. Yeah. Oh, and I had because that was uh, yeah the thing. I'd just been to, been flown to Africa twice, and I just got back. And we did the TCAs, and I think I also threw a glass at. Uh, oh fuck! I'm blanking on his name. Tony. 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 Uh, Jesus. Yeah. Fuck! I'm blanking too. Probably, uh, nice guy. Sorry, dude. Yeah, Randall. Tony. Jesus. I love to Tony's a great guy, but I was like out of my skull, and I just yeah. Yeah. But that was that was a reporter. I. Uh, you took to, his report. You took his tape recorder and dunked it in, in his drink, glass. Yes. Oh my god! And threatened to kick his ass. Yeah, because I was. Yeah, I was drunk. Wow. Yeah, and yeah, I was like, oh my god, do I have to do something? Sorry, I missed. I was that. like, I have yeah. to stop this. Oh, this is crazy. I can't <laughs> believe this in. is happening. That's, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, and it was after that 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 I just went on the antidepressants because I yeah. crashed really hard after that. And it was like one of the things where I thought, yeah, I, you I were, can't go to work. I can't it, do anything. You were experiencing that combination, apparently, of the malaria medication and alcohol. is like a crazy combination. Yes. Yeah. And no. then you add to that jet lag and, yeah. and the trauma of being separated from my kids. Yeah. Yeah. The, the malaria pills on their own yeah. make you mentally ill. Well, the thing is, I, le sort of her. Yeah. Yeah. I left Harari uh, to the sound of my, my, my eldest child screaming, Daddy, don't go. Oh, and, shit. You know, which even now I can't talk about. Woo! <sighs> yeah. God. See, it's not worth having kids. No, <laughs> no, it none? isn't. Yeah. Do you have he none? Does. I have one. Do you have one. <laughs> I have yeah. a seventeen-year-old. Yeah, oh, it's good. They're on their yeah. own now, basically. Yeah, yeah. In the year, you could just oh, write them off. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's <laughs> next year. He's going to college. So. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, if you are out there, get on meds and stay on them. Yeah. Like Brody should have stayed on his meds. Well, you know, I just. I wish we could have all known yeah. how he was and how close he was to that. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's like people think like uh, like suicide. The thing is like if you're close to suicide, it's the most rational choice you'll ever make when mm. you're when you're that close. Right. It just seems like the most sensible like way to deal with the issue. You got to stop this because it's otherwise it's too much pain. Yeah. I heard someone describe it as um, it's not even an burning, emotional decision. It's a burning. It's jumping out of a burning building. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's like there's that choice into the burning building, or yeah. Was that feeling yeah. where, you, where you go? This is not there's an no, emotional decision I'm making. There's no choice. I've had two friends hang themselves this year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean yeah. that. That is. I never thought I would ever say that. Yeah. I never thought that that would be a way that people would be going out either. Yeah. I remember what we had Drake say there. You know? <sighs> yeah. Oh, he was hard. Yeah. That was a oh. hard one. I, I I knew Drake back in the, uh, m essentially my open mic days. Yeah. He was uh, an established comedian in Boston, and I was just starting out. Oh, yeah. yeah. But.